the people on their skis. All these cheaters. All right, we're the cool crowd, guys. So it's day number two at Southwest Gulch Cabin. Cheers. So today has been an interesting day. Bit hungover this morning. It wasn't the greatest making food for 10 people. But then there's no better cure than going outside for a snowboard ride. So went up over that way. Had some fun turns, but the snow's super sticky. It's really warm and the things are actually sloughing off, sliding. Nice. Oh, I love it. I don't think you can lose it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just like my feet just stuck. I know. Wow. We're here at the cabin enjoying ourselves a lot, but the snow is super sticky today. And uh, we thought it might happen to be fast, but or at least I did, but it doesn't seem that way. It's really slow. As soon as you go down, even on a steep slope, you're, you're just dragging. And the snow, just a small snowball rolling down the hill turns into a big snowball. So. It, it seems like potentially some uh, avalanche danger if we were to do anything in the Alpine. Plus, if you can see behind me, it's uh, actually it's cleared up quite a bit compared to where, where it was at earlier, but it was pretty blown in. You couldn't really see the peaks anymore. So yeah, we're just kind of chilling out by the cabin today, recovering from a, a hangover. Yeah. 
cabin ski trips are the best because you can pack so much food into a sled. So you can enjoy cabin time with lots of food and lots of wine. It's the best. Ah, it, it, fell, it fell out your mouth. I love how you got those songs. And I like how I feel you Short skirt and a long jacket. How's it, guys? Number one, man. Awesome. It's my first toffee on the snow experience. Yeah. What? Yeah. Nice So much maple syrup. <laughs> that looks like bacon. <laughs> I basically bake them. Maple bacon. <laughs> so, did you buy those cans of maple syrup here? No, those are imported, buddy. I traffic oh. maple syrup every single spring from my uncles. Yeah. <laughs> The arrows thing. As yeah. You're just yeah. The arrows you need something for the heartburn. Right. You need something for the heartburn. How are you feeling after the birthday? Feeling good. A little uh, hydrating here with beer and clamato juice. Yes. Getting ready to go for a walk in some sticky snow and see where we can get. So it's day number three today. We're gonna be going for a little bit of an exploration. Just had some epic French toast, and now we've got the sun that's shining. It's easy to kind of get down when the snow conditions aren't quite the way you'd like them to be when you come all the way out to a cabin or something or you know you, you finally get to do that thing you've been looking to do the entire winter or the entire period of time but what makes a huge difference is being somewhere with a bunch of people that are just you know like-minded and easy to get along with and even in just not the best conditions for skiing, you just, happen, you just somehow make the best of it and everybody 
really comes together and it ends up being an awesome trip regardless of how much skiing you got in or what you did because it's the experiences and the memories that you make along the way which makes it awesome. Looks like the sun is actually starting to break through some of the clouds. Maybe we're gonna get a nice evening. 